we wanted to ask, one of the councillors um, came straight back to us, a uh, Conservative councillor, saying no way will we support uh, twinning with Gaza because that would imply support for a terrorist regime. So just what, what would you say to somebody like that? What's your arguments? Well, my argument would be very simple. And the simple thing is called international law. The international community in all of its constituent parts, the International Committee of the Red Cross, the United Nations General Assembly, the UN Secretary General, the Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, across the board, across the board without any exceptions. They have all ruled the blockade of Gaza is illegal. It's a flagrant violation, as Amnesty called it, of international law because it constitutes a form of collective punishment against the civilian population. The last UN report, it said, or I should say the UN report on Protected Edge, which was authored by a New York State, New York State judge, she said the blockade of Gaza has to be lifted immediately and unconditionally. Let me repeat those words, immediately and unconditionally. That is to say, you can't keep the blockade until Hamas disarms. You can't keep the blockade until they stop building tunnels. No, it has to be lifted immediately and unconditionally because it's an illegal form of collective punishment, which, as Amnesty said, is a flagrant violation of international law. So you tell your counselor, are you on the side of international law or are you against international law? Do you support international law or do you not support it? That's the only issue. It has nothing to do with Hamas. It has to do with targeting a civilian population which is illegal under international law. Right. That's the issue. The day after the Mabu Marmara, June 1st, 2010, June 1st, 2010, the day after Israel attacked the flotilla, every single member of the Security Council said the blockade of Gaza is unsustainable. You can't do this to a population, not the least a population that's overwhelmingly children. So if everyone, the whole international community, has said it's illegal, then this issue of Hamas is a red herring. It's a diversion. Because you don't want to address the core issue. The core issue is Israel is engaged and has been for the past 15 years in a flagrant violation of international law by inflicting uh, collective punishment on a civilian population. That's the issue.